Hello everyone and thanks for coming back to the channel. Today we're doing a look at a little testing that I've been doing. Bold Clash sent me some upgraded parts. It, they arrived right after the Chinese New Year. So however long that's been. Uh, two weeks, 15, 16 days, something like that. But So I had two of these and you know this is the original here, the one that's all in all black. And if you remember in that review I had problems with what ended up being a board dying because of a crash possibly. And I can put a card to it right up here. So one of my concerns when I reviewed this was well if you have a crash like I did which seems like I came down on the side of the treadmill with air mode on and I hit one of the motors caused a spike in amperage and I blew the flight controller. And so they sent me a new one, and here are some pictures side by side with the old one. And you can see the layout's changed quite a bit. You can see we've got that OSD chip right there on the front. They don't, and they no longer have a boot button, which might be of significance to you, but they do have the boot pads there at the front. Uh, the silk screening on the board is actually laid out fairly well. I don't really have any complaints. Uh, when you get the board, it does come with all the grommets and pieces you need to remount it. And I'm just getting out a few odds and ends right here. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, also, motors. They sent me a new set of motors. And this new motor set looks a lot better. Uh, it could be luck and just what I pulled out. But if we take a look at this picture where we can see the motors, the new motor is on the right. And it has obviously the PCB where the wires are soldered to it. And then the other one on the left where it's covered in the black heat shrink and uh, possibly some uh, electrical liquid tape. But the motor on the right, to me, when I look at it, it looks like the magnets are much more evenly distributed versus the motor on the left. It looks like it's kind of hodgepodgey through there. Also, if you look at the end of the motor, I don't know what you would call that, but it looks like it's been stamped. Uh, in other words, it's been struck hard with something in order to keep it from coming out. And in my particular case, I haven't had any troubles with motors dying or the motor stem coming out, then that could be because of this new technique that they're using. Let's come back to the desk here for just a minute. And one thing I want to draw your attention to, so this is the new board here on the left. And you look at those uh, the size of that wire. Look at the old wire. Substantially different. I would say that's maybe three stages, maybe just two stages higher. This to me feels like 22. Yeah, it's not marked in any way. This one is marked. Well, this this says it's 24, so this must be like 30. But it's substantially different. You can still do the same things that you see here as far as power for your, your canopy. Uh, in my particular case, because we now have an OSD, what I did was I put wiring harnesses on the camera and VTX side and on the power side so that I could split everything up and I could just connect them and then I could disconnect the canopy when I wanted to or if I needed to swap it out. You can see my receiver right here in the bottom. I think one of the things that I need to show you is flight performance. Now, this could be some sort of placebo effect or confirmation bias. The combination of these new motors and the new ESCs that support D-Shot 600 on the flight controller make a substantial difference in how this things fly. Let's take a look.
So in much of that flight, I'm just flying with wild abandon without caution, and I'm just going fast, and I'm having a great time. I was really, really happy with how it responded, how it felt on the throttle. It felt easy to fly. To be honest with myself, I would go back and fly, because after the first few flights, I was, I was like, am I really feeling what I'm feeling, or if I just, you know, some sort of placebo effect? So I went back, and I would fly them side by side. Fly one, then fly the other, fly one, then fly the other. That's not great for including a... a f <laughs> it's not great for including that in a uh, flight video, but that's what I did for testing because I wanted to see what the difference was. And there's no doubt a difference in how the machine flies now with the new components. I do think Bold Clash is going to be using these new components uh, going forward, but as you know right now, these components are on their website, say coming soon. Also, something that comes with the flight controller is this LED strip, and I actually had this hooked up, but I couldn't make it stick to the back. I had actually had it hooked up in here. There, There's an LED, and then you have to, the 5 volt isn't right next to the LED, the the You've got ground right next to the LED, and then the LED, which is how you program the controls uh, of the LED. I just couldn't keep it from falling off. I was trying to put it here, and I would bend it. You know, I'd bend it around, and I would stick it on there, and then I would crash, and it'd be laying on the ground. I'm like, Arr! So eventually, I just ended up throwing that one away, and then I pulled this one off the other side. And it does add weight, so you have to decide, do I want tail lights or whatever lights, and have to live with the weight, because there is a, maybe you could just do something up here. Nice and tidy, so for, for racing purposes, somebody else can see you, because the LED, uh, as you saw on the pin map, it is right over here on this side of the board, so that's where you'll connect it up. And on the far side of the board is where you'll connect up your receiver. I used a DSMX receiver with uh, 5 volt. Um, it's one of the few DSMX receivers, well not one of the few, one of the, one of the DSMX receivers I use quite regularly that uses 5 volt and it worked quite well. One thing I wanted to do before we wrap up here, and if you have any questions, go ahead and fire those off down at the bottom. I am going to include links to my, the pictures that I took so you can maybe blow those up and get them as close to your eyes as you'd like and you can take a real close look at the components. You know, make, make your own choice about what you see. Uh, one of the things they do in their video about these new motors and this is not the new motor, this is the old motor, is, and you can see the magnet spacing, maybe. See how it's a gap here and a gap over here. That makes a difference how motors run. So the new motors are a lot better. But uh, I wanted to see if this would pop off because it's something that they do on their website, on a video on their website. So let's see what happens. I may need a different tool. If you can see there, there's a little bit of a hook on this edge of this screw, and I was hopeful that... Oh, I got it! I heard it, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> that surprised me. Sorry. Highly unprofessional. See? I don't know wherever that thing went, but I heard it hit over here to my right. Maybe you heard it too. Okay, so let's get a new motor out. In the name of science... Uh, new motor. See how it's got wire soldered on the PCB. Old motor does not. Well, oddly enough, I do see a little bit of a lot bigger gap. Do I have it lined up in the camera? Come on, camera, focus. With this motor, or with these two magnets right here, there's a little bit more of a gap than all the others. But it's still better than this one. Okay. So hopefully you can see... I don't know how you'd get this off, because this doesn't have anything down there. Or maybe I can't see it. How can I feel that? This part might be boring, and you might want to skip it if you're not interested, but I'm going to leave it all in here. We can see it's moving. Ouch. But I'm going to leave all this in here, so no trickery or anything going on here. Dang. kind of don't want to stab myself in the thumb either. Ouch. Maybe I just need to pull on it. That hurt my 
fingernails. <laughs> Ouch. I need to cut my fingernails and that hurt. Oh. Dang, that really hurts. Okay. Um, I'm satisfied. Will it come apart? Quite possibly. Will it come apart as easily as this one? No. <laughs> um, so I think they have found a method for keeping the motor bell and the motor mount together. I don't know how they do that. But to me, it just looks like it's been smashed, whatever it is, on there. Again, I'll include the pictures. Maybe you guys know what that is, and you can include that down below. Oh, there, uh, there, there's something else about the flight controller that I think you need to know, is that the new one also, of all things, has a spot so you can wire up a buzzer. So full-featured flight controller now in the new version. I'm very hopeful that you guys will get to experience this. It comes in a little um, box like this. It comes with the mounting screws that you need to mount it. It comes with... Uh, the grommets, the rubber grommets, which does help. Oh, that's right, for you angle flyers. I also flew in angle mode with this a little bit, and then I would just stop and try to hover it. Uh, you'll notice that I do have some drift, but it's very, very minor. I don't. That could be the air circulation through the house. Uh, it could also be the fact that I didn't calibrate the accelerometer either, or it could be that it's not perfectly mounted inside there because I did nothing special to check that. So we'll take a look. Add a little bit of the angle mode flying. Now be gentle. I'm not good at this. I'm much better at acro. I believe I've covered everything I've co wanted to cover. Well, I, I can tell you that I have been flying this, like you saw in the video, uh, but a lot of time here at night before I go to bed, I'll take like two or three batteries and I'll run it through this. I have about 12 of the batteries that fit in this thing, and I'll, I'll just take two or three of the batteries and rip it around down here in the basement and do a couple, few laps and 
and it's been fun and I've crashed it and I haven't tried to take any special care to make sure I have any video to produce for you guys to see. Um, so I think that they may have found out their weakness, which was that three amp max output on the old flight controller, which is this guy here. This is the one that doesn't work anymore for me. And on the new one, it has a max output of five amps or it, it will allow a max input of five amps. Depends on how you look at it. And one other thing that I think that I have to revisit is you know, I've flown several of these machines in this kind of category of motor, and this is the best motor that I have flown of this size. I know that's a bold statement, but I really, I, the combination of the motor and the flight controller, I just can't find another machine that operates like this in the RTF. Now, you can get something that is flying an 1102 motor, 10,000 kV on a 16 by 16 flight controller in ESC that will fly very, very similarly, just a little bit more weight because it's 2S. But in 1S, I think if you want a 1S brushless whoop, you need to get your hands on these upgraded parts because I think it's well worth it. So while their first iteration was pretty good, their second iteration is going to be great. I would keep keep a close eye on their website and see when those parts come in. If you've got one of these and it failed on you, I wouldn't give up on it. I would go ahead and, and get the new board at the very least and then give that a try on the new mo the old motors and see how your performance is. If the performance still isn't up to your standard, then I would try out some new motors. The last thing I would do if you've got a B06 is upgrade the lead to a thicker gauge of wire, which you can do that by purchasing from any old store. I know that tinyhoop.com they sell these little ph20 pigtails and they work quite well so i'm happy hopefully more bold clash customers in the future will be happy i think if you're going to be buying any brushless whoops i would get the new one with the new parts but i think you have to wait a little bit longer because they're not available yet okay if you have any comments questions suggestions or otherwise please leave that in the section down below i appreciate your time and thanks for watching